second practice in Mexico City, and with the dust subsiding somewhat, and the track rubbering in, times were tip to tumble. It didn't take long for Max Verstappen to top the table. Of the early medium shod runners, he was nearly half a second quicker than the next fastest driver, and better than Valtteri Bottas's best time set in first practice on the red ringed rubber. The Flying Finn holds an absolute record here, having set the fastest time through a speed trap in F1 history back in 2016, a mighty 372.5 kilometers an hour. Perhaps trying to recreate that moment, Bottas left his braking a little late at the end of the long straight. A double front lockup, seeing the Mercedes man overshooting turn one and trundling across the grass. Moments later, teammate Lewis Hamilton followed suit. Yeah, these tyres are done, man. The reigning champion, Victor here in 2019, has only had one pole in the last 13 races, his worst run of the hybrid era. Trailing Verstappen by 12 points coming into this weekend, the Briton needs a strong showing if he's to stay in touch. Pierre Gasly continued his impressive run of form, P6 for the likeable Alpha Tauri driver, with teammate Yuki Tsunoda some two tenths further back. Honda have a lot of history here, this track the site of their very first victory in Formula One in 1965, with American Richie Ginther behind the wheel. Sebastian Vettel was another who flirted with the upper end of the timesheet's early doors. The Aston Martin driver, no stranger to the podium in Mexico, having finished second in the previous two Grand Prix, had put him mouth flashbacks as he drove through the wrong pit box again. Sorry for that, I wasn't looking. <laughs> Jamie's looking so good today. Maybe it was that. <laughs> Look how handsome he is. The German's former team Ferrari once again looked quick. Both Carlos Sainz and Charles Leclerc consistently lapped within the top five, but would end the session fifth and seventh, the trailing Monegasque complaining of struggles with his setup. The Scuderia's Constructors' Championship rivals McLaren had a much tougher session. Both Lando Norris and Daniel Ricciardo lacked pace and couldn't break into the top ten. Ricciardo has only finished one of the last three races in Mexico. Mr. Saturday, George Russell has had strong form of late, scoring in four of the past seven races. But Friday in Mexico City did not go to plan. Gearbox is gone. Oh, I've got it back now. Can I change gear? Let me know ASAP. Can I change gear or not? Yes, yeah, by said no, no gear change for now. His teammate Nicholas Latifi also struggled, the Canadian narrowly avoiding the barriers after a wobble at turn 16. Once the top teams opted for the softer compound, the times did indeed tumble, breaking into the 1 minute 17s. It was current Drivers' Championship leader Verstappen, twice a winner here and holder of the track lap record, with the best tour of the day, a very respectable 1 minute 17.301. He'd be over four tenths ahead of the Mercedes duo of Bottas and Hamilton and his teammate Sergio Perez. Science looked strong in fifth ahead of Gasly and Leclerc. Sonoda was in the top 10 again, Vettel and Fernando Alonso following behind. Kimi Raikkonen would finish 11th, just ahead of the struggling Norris and the Finns' Alfa Romeo teammate Antonio Giovinazzi. Ocon was next, ahead of Ricardo, then Mick Schumacher just a tenth further back, a strong showing for Haas in P16. Then the two Canadians, Lance Stroll and Latifi, Nikita Mazepin P19 and George Russell with just two laps and no time set.